What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we are looking at wire configurations for two DVC 2 ohm subwoofers. So I have the two subwoofers over here. I got my multimeter. Let's check the impedance at each terminal now. So we have 2.1 on this voice coil. You're going to see 2.1, but let's check the other subwoofer too. 2.1, and you see 2.2 for the last terminal over here. Okay, so each terminal is showing a 2 ohm resting impedance, so let's get into the first wiring configuration, which is series parallel. In a very simple overview, I need to first series both of the subwoofers. To do that, I just take a wire and go from the positive terminal on one voice coil to the negative terminal on the opposite voice coil. Then I have to run both of the subwoofers in parallel. How do I do that? Well, with the open terminals, we go from the negative to the negative and then straight into our enclosure box, positive to the positive, and then straight into the positive terminal of our enclosure box for a final impedance of two ohms. So if that sounded too technical, don't worry. I'm going to show you step-by-step step now how we're going to do it. So we're gonna take our speaker wire. This is just one single speaker wire. I'm going to go from the positive terminal on this side to the negative terminal on the opposite voice coil. So I take another cable, just a speaker cable. I'm going from the positive of one voice coil into the negative on the adjacent voice coil over here. And now it's time to parallel the woofer. So I take another speaker wire. I'm gonna go right into the negative terminal. Now before I just plug this wire directly into the terminal here, I need to take the negative speaker lead from my enclosure box and twist these two to each other. And now I could go directly into my last negative terminal here. And now we need to do the same thing with the positive terminals. The blue wire, which is my positive speaker wire, I'm gonna go into the open terminal on this end, so positive on this end. And then you're going to take this end take the positive speaker wire that's running directly from the terminals of your enclosure box, you're gonna twist them to each other, and then you're going to go into the open terminal on the remaining woofer. And we're going to read what we see when we probe the terminals at our enclosure box. We have a resting impedance of 2.2 ohms. So when you have your subs wired in this way, you can use any amplifier that's capable of running the subs rated power at two ohms. So a very common application is to use a two ohm stable mono amplifier, but another great application is to use a one ohm stable mono amplifier that is running at two ohms at the rated power of the subwoofers. Because if you use a one ohm stable amplifier running at two ohms, it's actually going to run the amp a little cooler, which is going to increase the efficiency and save your car battery. You will also hear increased sound quality because the amp is running so cool. Let's talk about another thing. So some dual enclosure boxes have multiple sets of terminals. Also some one channel mono amplifiers have multiple sets of speaker terminals where you can wire your subwoofers directly to them and it'll parallel at the amp itself. For example, if I have a mono amplifier that has two sets of speaker wired terminals and an enclosure box that has two sets of terminals, your wiring is going to be the same on each side for each subwoofer and it's as follows. So you're going to take a jumper cable, you're gonna run in series first, so from the positive of this voice coil into the negative of the opposite voice coil. And then you're going to take your wire leads that are going directly into your speaker enclosure and just match them up positive to positive and negative to negative. Now you're going to do this for each subwoofer so that on each side, if I probe it with a multimeter, you should get around a four ohm load. You see it jumping around 4.3, 4.2. That is a four ohm load. Now out of each of the enclosure box terminals, you're going directly into the two sets of speaker terminals on your amplifier and that's where the parallel is happening. So it's taking both of the four ohm loads and bringing it down in parallel to a two ohm load. So that's series parallel wiring. Now before I show you the next wiring configuration, I wanna give a warning as this could potentially blow your subwoofers and your amplifier if your amp is not capable of the final impedance which is half an ohm. This is called parallel wiring and it's very, very simple to do. You just go positive to positive to positive to positive straight into the positive speaker leads on your enclosure box. Then with the negative, you go negative to negative to negative to negative into the negative speaker leads on your enclosure box. Easier shown than said. So you're going to take one set of speaker wire. I'm gonna start with the positive, go directly into my positive on one terminal. Now I'm going into the next, but before I go in, I want to run my jumper cable that's going to go from this woofer to this woofer. So I take my positive sides, I basically run them together. I go into the positive of this one. 
Before I go into here, I wanna take another speaker wire. So we have three speaker wires, join them together and put it right into this positive terminal. The remaining positive end of this speaker wire and run it right with the speaker wire that's going directly to the terminal leads on your enclosure box. And this is going to run directly into the final positive terminal over here. Get a nice good connection. We're going to do the same exact thing with the negative terminals now. So starting over here, I go directly into my negative terminal, plug it into that terminal. This is going to go into this terminal over here. That's going directly into this open terminal over here. Okay, we have it all wired up in parallel. Let's take our multimeter and check. This is essentially what our amp will be seeing. So on my multimeter, half an ohm and 0.6 ohms. And that's exactly what we're looking for, half an ohm impedance. Now the type of amp you're gonna wanna use with this kind of configuration is an amp that's specifically built to be half ohm stable. Now if you run a one ohm or a two ohm stable at half ohms, it could lead to the amp going into protect mode. Just keep that in mind. You really wanna match this up with a half ohm stable amplifier. Now there is another wiring configuration. I'll show you the wire diagram right here. So this is series wiring. It's not very common because of the amount of power you're going to lose from your amplifier when you run your speakers in this way. In fact, if you feel like you're not getting the amount of power that you want out of your setup, you could have your subwoofers wired in this configuration. So double check with the other wiring configurations that we did at the beginning of the video and make sure you're not in series wiring. I hope you found this video helpful and how to wire your two DVC two ohm subwoofers in multiple different configurations. As always guys, I am Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.